There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. singing it everybody loves yeah. it everybody's crying everybody's anyway, crying. the chess musical the musical based on the game of chess hey what's one up night, everyone in bangkok yeah he was how you doing yeah. welcome good, to the yeah. welcome to the last stream on the good. left ben hanging out with henry and marcus they're talking about one night in bangkok i don't know what happened but bangkok. something happened um honestly no we were just um first of all recovering from kissel insinuating that he has had several active what sex dreams no, About I said us. I did not have any. I said you guys were in my dreams last night, but nothing saucy happened. But then I did say on occasion I have had sexual dreams involving a man. Every yeah, human us. has. Not yeah, that I remember. Course. I Maybe if it was like eight JMO bottles deep five years ago and I just have completely forgotten. I woke up feeling weird. Maybe. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Because that haunts me. That but I have dreams constantly where the gender of the person in the dream becomes male to female. Oh, sure. back like I always, yeah, of course. I was just kissing another guy, but then he promised me he had a vagina in the Good dream. Brain. And I said, okay, I mean, you know, you got to have, you got to get a little, have fun with it there, but it's all my brain. Yeah. I like somebody yeah. who's got all of them. Yeah, yeah. I've had, I, I mean, that's all I'm saying. I don't think it's that uncommon, but anyway, no, I've never had sex with either of you in my dreams. No, well, no, I haven't sex with either, either of you in my dreams either. I ruined my day. I, know. I don't know what I do. I don't know if like, like, honestly, you have to keep it inside up, normal. Just yeah. like a sex dream about a man would not remotely bother me in any way, shape or form. Cause that happens. Cause you like, you know, like maybe you're having a dream yeah. all of a sudden he transmutes to a man or whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Things happen. Yeah. But the idea of like just having to put together the, the, my mental images, cause it would all come from other images. Right. Cause I haven't yeah. seen your fucking full on cocks close enough to my face. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it no, would have to be put all of these different imagery together in my brain, and then what what would happen after? Well, I'll it's tell like, you, it would be a lot a of dream this. where it's like it's just me just railing on what I think is the skinny woman, and it's just Marcus just going with his Alfred yeah. Newman that 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 face, face. and <laughs> then I'm working your balls. <laughs> That's your dream, buddy. It's your dream, and you're just being like, I don't know what I'm doing down here either. <laughs> I'm yeah, working the balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a sir, horrible I'm, dream you've had. You're doing a great job. Yeah, I hate this dream. I yeah, don't no. want this dream. No, no. you made it. Um, What's well, my mandate, it. ladies and gentlemen? It is. It's my mandate, and we've got some pretty awful things coming later. Um, that that's yeah. you know that's later on in the show. You're gonna fucking hate it. Uh, it seemed but, like one one thing that you one one thing is already scrubbed from YouTube that you screamed at Travis and you said, "Did you download it? Please tell me you downloaded it." <laughs> Because uh, YouTube got rid you of got it, it before it disappeared. Yeah, they, yeah, there was something about the algorithm that really glommed yeah. onto this one and got it out of there. You know uh, what I remember? Because I was going through, because I'm, I was trying to clean out a bunch of my bookmarks, and so it's like it's just a big flurry of old YouTube videos. And I remember the one specifically that I had picked for a stream, and then it got immediately pulled down. And I remember it said, <laughs> "Man deep throat, man deep throats doorknob to Minecraft," and then oh. it was just one video of a man get an entire doorknob into the back of his throat while Minecraft was just on a computer playing behind him. I don't well, know if he was that... wanting it for his kids or whatever, but man, they pulled that shit down so fucking hard. And I was like, that's just fucking expression. Yeah, you can't suck on a doorknob legally on YouTube. These terms it's... of service is ridiculous. I think it was more about the copyright infringement with Minecraft than it oh. was about the... Uh... I don't know, man, because yeah. I think it was just straight up. I feel like there's something in the algorithm that it gets. It's this noise. It's the oh, 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 like mixed with the the Minecraft yeah. music, music that does yeah. get it. Flat. I used to that, I used to be able to, noise. I used to be able to yeah. fit my whole fist in my mouth when I was 14, but then my hand got too big and I can't do it anymore, and my mouth hasn't gotten any bigger. Isn't that That's weird? Interesting. Isn't that weird? Because I used to be able to fit this in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make sure I credit uh, because we actually have the maker of that video is here. Justin Killall, thank you so much uh, for making that video. And I wish you got to re-put it up. You got to remake it. So. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you got to remake it. But speaking of mouths, Ben, that's exactly what's going on with uh, this first video. It's fun with mouths. Oh. What can a man, what can a Russian man do when he's 
six bottles of vodka deep. What can he do with his mouth? Can, honestly, anything, dude. He can drive with his mouth. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Pra my he. Pra my he. Pra my he. Pra my he. Okay. So he's just. So he's. Whoa. whoa what? Oh, whoa. 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 Holy fucking shit. He holds up with his teeth. Good for him. Orcus, this is Whoa, us at another time. And then there's some Jesus. sort of argument. Yes. Are these guys all like Iranian miners? <laughs> <laughs> what, if he's saying it doesn't count, it counts because he, I saw him lift that table would look to be with his mouth. I, yeah, I go. It was his teeth. Yeah. Can we Let's see, see that, that at again. the very top of Let's that again? It. Just want to see that again. Because I was actually paying attention to the guy who came in. Yeah, I screen. thought that guy was about to take out his dick and start pissing all over everything. You never know what these videos. <laughs> you never know. But he's, that's just in the mouth. It's only on the corner. Plus the package on top. Oh, holy yeah. fuck. One, two, three, four, five steps. He has possession. That's, oh, wow. That's not just packages. That was two bricks. Oh, my God, man. He could eat a fucking pussy off a human body. I believe that this guy probably owes that guy some money. And he says, look, yeah. look what I did. I did it. Give me my money. Yeah, and then they came to an agreement at the end of it. He says he did do it. This is a yeah, Russian tried, The guy coming. tried well to, for just a little bit. But then at the end of it, he took care of it. He took yeah, it. He, he made it right. Wow. Good I can't because I don't have strong teeth. I don't yeah, think I'm anyone's scared. supposed I don't... to. No, you're not supposed to lift tables with your teeth. Although I can still crack a beer bottle easily with my back teeth. Ugh, no, I would just, my teeth would fall apart if I tried tense. that. It's, I got soft fucking, teeth. Yeah, my teeth are very sensitive. Very sensitive teeth, unfortunately. I, you know, my parents did prep. My, we went to a dentist that was, he was forward thinking. And they did, pre, they did uh, pre-cavity fillings. So I have all of my fillings in, but before the cavity, because the dentist says, why well, wait until you get the cavity? That's not how he sounded whatsoever. He just filled in your, so your teeth are just blocks like you're a fucking brontosaurus? I don't know what he did, but I never had a cavity because they what? pre-filled it in like cavity. But you also, you haven't been to the dentist. I think you said you haven't been to the Ooh, dentist in 20 15, years. Yeah, 15, 20. Yeah, probably 20 years. Yeah. I you still gotta, have them all. If you rip off the bandage, just go. It, that first oh, one I'm fucking scared. sucks. No, because the first one sucks. I remember oh. I, it was five years for me. I remember going in and I was like, it was not a fun time. But at, now it's fine no, as long because, as you go regularly. Can you imagine if the person that you go to get your nutbag and ding dong, or if you're a lady, you have something different. You imagine if you went and they treated you the way the dentist treats you, where they just mock. When was the last time you shaved your balls? Oh, you're going to have to clean this better. Like save the this for the you. road. You're saving. Yeah. This is material for the road. Same thing with this. <laughs> and why can't any, any gas pumps work? Advice. Do any gas pumps work? <laughs> you're making, honestly, this is all legit material. <laughs> yeah. don't think it is well, let's check out this next video this next video it's a good old engineering ingenuity <laughs> i love this man already i know how to work uh it's recording hold on i got it there are a lot of people saying finn i'll take Lucy. care I can Thank see. Lucy, move. Uh -huh. Huh? You gotta bring it up with the ball. What is going on? Is that a I'm balloon or a bowling ball? This is like a bowling ball. ball. This is a fun Sunday afternoon. This right, feels like a bowling like a ball. Sunday. The dog is over there. Gonna, uh, bring it up. I, I do wish I had the though. body confidence. Mm -hmm. That's what a real. Oh, body it's a TV is. and a. Okay, I see what's going on now. Three, two. Okay, smash this TV. Oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah, dude! That's <laughs> fun wow. as hell. But now they don't oh, have a yeah, TV. Man. No, I just wanted to bring everyone into an American backyard for a bit. Oh, oh my God. Oh, tree. oh no. shit, dog. Oh, well, you know what? Now that I see fully the picture here. Look this how is much fun family. everybody's having. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a great night. This that is the guy from Trailer Park Boys, right? That's the fat guy who, <laughs> who always has the beer gut out from Randy. Trailer Park Boys. That's yeah. the body I'm trying to get to, man. Congratulations. That's the body that you're trying Man, to get to. Alex Jones, that body. You know what I mean? Where you yeah. just like you're just nothing but carcinogen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're just you are just trans fats and and muscle. I love yeah. it. I mean, I think with a little bit of not hard work, whatever the opposite thing you have to do to get in shape, you do, and then you're gonna have that body no problem. 
Yeah, you could just just drink so much beer. Just start and drinking soda. Beer. Well, yes. I'm already on it. Beer and but soda. That's the, right. Uh, the, the way to do it, the system that I've been working on, and it has been working, is I eat whatever I want, and then I just lift a lot of weights. So you just <laughs> don't do any of the diet maintenance, yeah. but you do the hard workout. But sometimes you're tired, and sometimes you kind of feel sick. Right. Because you yeah. had like a big lunch. And then you're going to working out. But at the same time, slowly but surely, because you know what they say with marble, right? All marble starts as a solid stone. It has to be whittled mm -hmm. into the shape that you want it to be. Well, it's still solid even after it's whittled. Um, I love that you just described the daily workout of The Rock, but yet you look nothing like him. Nothing. Yeah. Isn't nothing that like weird? It. It's almost like maybe you lied he, to us. He then. watches <laughs> his food intake because then he doesn't No, I watched it. You, but you saw The Rock on the cheat day. Not that we're... Old man corner, The Rock's cheat day. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, Sign please. Me up. Sign me up. He eats you guys remember the exploding whale, right? Of course. It's oh, been yeah, dog. 50 years. Oh, oh there's a lot of people. The exploding whale. You do look like, a lot of people in the comments are saying that it does look like Kissel is surrounded by bugs. <laughs> but that is not because you are not, um, you're not, uh, what's his name from Charlie Brown? You're not Pig Pen. No. You no, no. are. That's just dust. That's a that dusty. Is stu the studio is dusty, and the, the sun is, is the California sun is shining in. Is catching. Well, now that it. I look at, now that I really look at it, it looks like I'm surrounded by bugs. Yeah, and it's <laughs> kind of funny because it does look like they're coming off of you, right. like they're yeah. sitting in a pool of gnats. These are these are like spirit <laughs> orbs, actually. These are orbs. Surrounding Ben. These um, are truly these are orbs, as you can these see. These are all of his light. ancestors. <laughs> he summoned you know who it the is. power of Get his ancestors. Get me out of here! Count if you count them, if it's six million people, you know who <laughs> sent them. It's fucking Opal. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you, Henry. Very polite of you always. <laughs> As if the Polish have never done anything wrong. They, we, man, we were part of the problem, but I wasn't there. I was in Staten uh, Island. We're in Staten Island. Let's check out, if in the honor of the 50th anniversary of the Exploding Whale video, let's watch the Exploding Whale video. Oh, uh, fucking it yeah. Been, it's been remastered. Oh, you know how what? it always looked kind of shitty? It's been remastered, and now we can see it in its full glory. Even better than people who saw it. Wow, this is high ago. qual, man. Yeah. Handsome man. We need the oh, sound, though. Let's see. Gotta get that can, sound. Let's see if we can get a little sound here because this whale is about to burst. Yeah, people, people need to hear that sound on that. Uh, what's going on here? We'll see here. We'll see. Okay, well, we could, I guess, suppose we could narrate it where there's a dead whale. Oh, here we go. It's coming in. There's a... It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up. And it couldn't be burned. So dynamite it was, some 20 cases or a half ton of it. The hope was that the long dead Pacific gray whale would be almost disintegrated by the blast. And that These guys are just bored of shit. Around after the explosion would be taken care of and by lazy. eagles and oh, other yeah. scavengers. Indeed, the eagles ocean. had been standing nearby all day. As everything was being made ready, we asked George Thornton, the highway engineer in charge of the project, for his Jeez. final observation. He's so happy. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is, we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this. Never know. Thing, so the scavengers, seagulls, and crabs and whatnot can clean it up. Is there any chance it might be more than a one-day job? Uh, if there's any large chunks left, and uh, we may have to uh -huh. do some other things. And that's a scientific process right there. Yep. The dynamite was buried primarily. I always love my highway men to be blowing up whales on the beach. Hey man, it's better than being blown up American citizens. Residents who had first found the whale object of curiosity before they tired of its smell were moved a mile away. The sand dunes there were covered with spectators and land lubber newsmen. Best thing that ever happened to the old fucking woman. Land blubber newsmen, with a blast blasted blubber beyond all believable bounds. That's great alliteration. Oh my God, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's blow this way off. You, you gotta hear it, listen. <laughs> oh, this is not good. You can see the rancid whale blubber just flying through the sky. The humor of the entire situation suddenly gave way to a run for survival as huge chunks of whale blubber fell everywhere. Pieces of meat passed high over our heads while others were falling at our feet. The dunes were rapidly evacuated as spectators escaped both the falling debris and the overwhelming smell. 
Whoa. Oh my God, look at those cars. <laughs> look at that car, it got destroyed. <laughs> look at this fucking idiot. Literally smashed. Fortunately, no human was hit as badly as the car. Wow, that must also fucking reek. Yeah, dude, it's a bunch of blubber that ruined his whole car. Oh, you stupid idiot. That did you get? Definitely not the day to bring the convertible to the beach. That didn't really matter. The remaining chunks were of such a size that. Oh, and then this is the kid. He gets to go play in all the whale blubber. What? That's fun. The highway crews were back on the beach burying the remains. Including a large piece of the carcass, which never left the boat. It didn't even work. It might be concluded that should a whale ever wash oh, a large a piece of the carcass that the never whole... left the blast. That's a whole it's fucking bunch of it. What not to do? They blew it up, and it still didn't blow up. I do really wish that they were just honest with us and themselves, and just said out loud, "We just wanted to blow this thing up." Of course, yeah. and we did not want. No, it's it's the... not going to get rid of it. We know it's just going <laughs> to spread it. Because when it comes down to it, when it's just one dead whale body, at least it's one thing. One little yeah. thing. It is one piece that you have to pick up and take it out. Where then when you blow it up, you make it a hundred pieces. So many more pieces. Yeah. yeah. And their yeah. their entire plan was to just they thought it would disintegrate to the point where the seagulls and the crabs would just take care of it. And they wouldn't have to do anything else. You know, Watch I, I... Mermaid, those fucking seagulls and crabs too busy singing songs. No, they are <laughs> scavengers. And never forget that about the seagull. Cute, yes, but it will steal the wristwatch off your wife. It yeah, is I mean, a, a seagull, seagull, seagull will fucking... Yeah, definitely a hot dog. Stick his beak up her pussy. No, <laughs> good. no, no. He would not do that unless she has a wristwatch hot up dog. her pussy. A hot I, dog. Oh my god. You don't <laughs> think that a seagull, if let's just let's just let's name a beautiful woman. Who was that one woman? Emily Ranaganagowski, right? The woman that was in all the she's on the pictures. Okay. You tell mm. me she's bent over looking for a contact in the sand. A seagull's oh, not gonna go. take his chance to torpedo her in her beehole. I have no idea what these seagulls do. I know that they're very friendly with humans now because we've been feeding them for so long, but if they start mm -hmm. doing that, then we're gonna have to really uh, have some stern talking to with them, and maybe have we'll get talk. maybe we'll get se seagulls Twitter, so that they can learn. I yeah. think seagulls should be canceled. I believe so. <laughs> All right, the seagull—you never know what's gonna happen. You know, let's see messy rain pants and and yogurt flowing. You oh, dude, did you can I say no? Is that allowed? Messy rain, you want to see what messy rain pants and yogurt flowing is? Do you think that someone tried? Did you see that thing that someone tried to like do a Rick roll of one man, one glass? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, one see jar? That. One man, one man, jar. Yeah. Do you remember that? With who? But the thing is, they just have it. No, it with, was just like it was a fake the video, video that we showed. But it showed the it showed the thumbnail of one mm -hmm. man, one jar. And it's been so long since I've seen the thumbnail. You know yeah. what I mean? That I it like I want is like that as still, I saw it. Is that still out there somewhere? And for those that yeah. don't know, you can imagine it's a man who takes a uh, it's a it's a, uh, a a jelly jar, it's a glass, it's a glass, uh, jar, a glass yeah. jar up his rectum, and, and then it does, but it doesn't work out though because I believe does the does that one break inside of him? He it breaks puts it up his him. asshole, like he squats over this thing. He the the jar goes up his asshole. Oh. And I, from what I remember, I remember it breaking, but I don't remember it if he broke it on purpose. I think it was well, an accident. Thing. He it breaks, but he doesn't make a sound, and all you hear is the breaking of the glass, and then you hear the crinkle of the glass inside his asshole as he <laughs> reaches up and try and starts like pulling it out. Uh, uh, it's been a it's while. Crinkling, crinkling, crackly, crackly. But he doesn't make a single noise the you entire time. You are never oh. ever treat your anal cavity like it's the cabinet. Don't put any jars in there. Maybe a couple no. of fingers and a fist at the most. Yeah, like Please seriously, be careful. it's just so weird how like something so shocking and so visceral and so absolutely fucked up. But at the same time, when I saw it, I went, oh, well, like, I was like, oh, it's simpler times. Five. That's you when know, the internet, that's when the internet was peak, when it was that. And then comedians telling knock knock jokes or whatever the jokes that they wanted to tell. I don't know. I still, and that was it. And then that would be like, OK, done with the Internet today. I saw a man with a bloody asshole because he tried to sit on a glass jar. And I laughed at my friend Micah Fox because she said something funny on Twitter. And She's still funny it. on Twitter. Oh, I love Micah. I always check out everything Micah does. But honestly, no, Instagram has beheading videos now somehow. Wow. Interesting. 
Yeah, it has full on quite... beheading. I saw one the other day. It has full on beheading yeah. videos still. So on, it's still out there, but they put yeah. a little cute disclaimer on it. Like it's, uh, uh, but uh, you know. I love that okay. the way that all the terrorists are saying, do it for the gram, and then <laughs> beheading people. Uh, this one isn't quite that. It's just messy rain pants uh, and yogurt. So <laughs> I, just saw, right. I just saw the squatting position in this we'll picture, and, I, and we'll it just it. sent me we'll back it. to one man. Yeah. One no, let's, uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. You're I've always said that. this marriage should be between okay. one man and one jar. Well, yeah. what so that's yogurt here? there. Hear the sound on this because there's a, a real good plop on everything. Oh, I see. This is okay. one of those. Actually, ASMRs. you know what? Can we take yeah. this back, Fernando? Can we take this back and can we just um let's sit in it, literally? Yeah, let's take it back to the beginning, and I want to hear the I want to hear the the squishes. Yeah, let's hear the squishes and just rub, just absorb it. Uh-huh. So that's yogurt, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> he's, you know, pouring, pouring it on. Like he keeps pink. Pouring, pouring more and more on. Is he, like, doing DDP yoga? Is this a workout? Dude, something you know, with his balls. Is... He's just like, he's riding that bench like he's one of the, I don't know, somebody from the next. Great. Good I believe it was a room. West. His, his name uh, on YouTube is Rubber Boot Soldier. Is oh, to say that a, he has a nice army. butt? He does have a nice butt. I mean, sure. That's why he's in business, buddy. But you can kind of see his panty line, which is kind of gauche. Yeah, it's a little... Well, look at him there. Just I mean, a so healthy... He's just showing off how much it's oh. on his boots. All right, so this is him showing up that it's on my boots, and I'm, I'm, I'm squishing oh. this. I think that's... Well, he does mostly foot squishy videos. Yeah, I think so. What is that squish? It seems to be a little bit of vomit. Is that a vomit? It, it might feels be something. like, it looks like a bit of a vomit type. I mean, it's some and kind of... And again, the yogurt. Showing, it's oh, that's the clothes. yogurt. It's more yogurt. Yeah. I have to ask the uh, the prerequisite again. This is for jerking off, right? Yeah. That's for people to jerk yeah, off. Yeah, this one's this one is definitely for jerking off. Yeah. He, he likes uh he has foot squishy videos. It's a lot of foot squishy. Okay. Stuff. You know, foot squishy videos. Um, I mean, you know, in the end, dude, whatever pays the bills. Whatever pays the bills. Yeah. It looks like Travis we'll has about something this. to say on this. Well, I, I would just it reminded me that I I, I had a, <laughs> what what memory did that video trigger, Travis? I had about fifty dollars <laughs> worth of Indian food the other night. Oh. And I woke up at three in the morning choking on my own vomit. Okay. It was like I, so much, so much yeah, tikka, buddy. tikka paneer uh, that it like once my my body became a bread bowl. And if I laid down, it, the 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 soup just started coming out of me, which has never so happened. That's before. a horrible way to usually, die. Man, usually my or, back, no, my organs usually take care of this kind of thing. And I think yeah. it might be a sign of age that now it just comes out if 50, I lay down. Yeah, you died as the. You basically died. You almost died as the fattest version of Jimi Hendrix <laughs> with like none of the fun, none of the drugs, none of the boozing. You just died from almost eating too but, much. But it, if it, that is a sign of stomach cancer, please, somebody let you me know. You don't have stomach Check cancer. In the chat. Check in the chat. I, I mean, I, I don't have trust a lot of the chat. The chat. <laughs> once a year, once a year, I give myself a cancer scare. No one has cancer. And I think this Indian soup bowl incident is proving that ate, it's about people saying acid reflux, dollars. which I will also say that it does sound like acid reflux. Yeah, it's fifty dollars of uh, fifty dollars worth of spicy food well that your spent. body just rejected. Yeah, well spent. Definitely well spent. Well, have you oh, ever had that? You threw that... it up. You didn't. Unless it comes. No, out the he other he, end, he, he swallowed it back down, Marcus. I <laughs> straight up had a moment like an infant the other day where I ate my bowl of cereal that I eat in the morning with my fucking colon blow as soon as I wake up, and I did. I forget what I do. I had to make a quick motion. I I went down to grab something, and I must have squished a fold or something because I I literally went Bleh! and then. Just shot like milk and cereal out of me. Not in a, not in all of it, but literally it was like, bleh. and it was like how a baby spits up onto yeah. the ground and stuff. And I was just like, well, I am, I'm a squeeze toy, bro. That reminds me of that time I was out there in Nashville at uh, Roberts. It was I was with my friend Travis Irvine as well with another person, and we didn't quite realize how hammered he was. Super sweet guy, but he we were just sitting there. He uh, just vomits on the floor. And I'm like, he just vomited. We got to get oh. like, he's got to go to the bathroom. And then there was a bachelorette party that came in and everyone was really loud and really drunk and really stupid. And they all danced in his vomit and they didn't even notice. And it was the oh. most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire I life. I miss going out. 
It was yeah. so gross yeah. watching. And all of these women were dressed like super nice and they were being all saucy and stuff. And they were all just dancing and puke and they didn't know it. Anyway. Yep. Oh, also, yeah. everyone's saying that does sound like acid reflux and you should probably just go. And honestly, Travis, it's not the key, cancer. I'm the Prozole. You know, I went to uh, I went to a doctor in New York and I was convinced that I had uh, armpit cancer. That's not even possible. Because Does that even exist? No, the lymph, lymph nodes, nodes? The lymph yeah. nodes are there, and yeah. I had it swollen up. And I think I was actually close to telling Marcus, I think I have cancer, so I can't work with you anymore. <laughs> I'm dead. I've actually passed on. But I was reading this book called Emperor of Maladies, which is a huge oh tome devoted to cancer throughout the ages. So I read mm -hmm. nearly all of this book, and I put it in my backpack, and I went to see a doctor in Union Square, just one of these like general walk-in clinics, and I started describing all of like, you know, I think it's it's right here around the, what is it called? The lymph nodes? Lymph, like trying lymph. to kind of trying to lead him into the yes. diagnosis. Yeah. And he was like, look, I don't think you have anything wrong. I think it's just sort of a, a flare up of a muscle or something there. It's not cancer. Right. And I was like kind of disappointed that he didn't tell me that I had cancer. And as I was leaving, I picked up my backpack and the entire huge tome of the cancer mm -hmm. book slid out of the backpack and landed mm -hmm. on his floor. And he looked so disappointed in me because what had happened was he told me like, look, I, the worst patients I've ever had are all like medical students or all, all like people this. who think mm -hmm. they know what's going on in their body when they have absolutely no, no idea. idea. Oh yeah, dude. I yeah. had to put myself into the emergency room because I had swore I had forgot how to breathe and I didn't realize that's called rampant anxiety. <laughs> oh, and so yeah. I went in and I had an anxiety attack and then they tell you, then you said, oh, I'm dying. And then they're like, here's a bill for 20 thousand dollars honestly you kind of deserve Whoa. that bill if you forgot how to breathe <laughs> you deserve to pay a 20 grand fine just for being that dumb hmm. oh got come him. on what, what are you gonna do you That's gotta breathe anxiety. you've never someone's gotta tell you crazy panic attack someone's gotta tell Jesus you I live my, my entire life is a panic attack but what i've done through them breathe i'm saying breathing you, i don't even do it on purpose I have tried not now, to breathe. Now you'll be stuck into tonight when you eat too many edibles, you're going to get stuck and thinking about it. I'm like, oh no, I have to operate my lungs. Oh, <laughs> that no. thought. Anyway. Well, Ben, this, is, this one's for you. This is the this is what's going on at the Milwaukee Bucks games these days. Oh, all And right. very recently. I did have Let's a heart see. attack, India. That's what it was. It was a heart attack. Be careful the with your hand sanitizer cam. We... Let's get those hands clean. Here we go. Oh yeah! Sanitizer cam. Yeah, oh, sanitizer, sanitizer cam. Sanitizer cam. Oh Man. my God! Man, get on my chest. I have no idea <laughs> what Man. they are doing. Man, yeah, get oh, all Man. over that old man. Please, <laughs> I want it right in here. Oh, get it right in here. All right. Get oh it yeah, get in that skirt. Oh, she loves it. She hasn't had that happen uh, to her since. Oh yeah, it's 1993. Got and they, yeah, actually, uh, the whole composed a song. they actually composed a song for this. If you listen to the song, it's like, work it, wash it, fix it, get it, get the back. Oh, yeah, feel my oh, butt wow. with it. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, look at all your bros hanging out, just getting covered in cum, having a great time. Oh, he's great loving day. getting jizzed on. Yeah, oh, yeah, they, oh, yeah, they, they understand. They understand what it looks like. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's trying to play along, but then every once in a while, someone goes, "Am I fucking mouth?" <laughs> yeah, I think he gets it. Fuck yeah, oh, she all wants over there, shot glass. Put it in your shot glass. Oh, that's not. That reminds him of college. Oh no, yeah, she's, she's not, not trying. It. She's not yeah, playing along. Not, but it is Jake. Not, it is yeah. just going no, straight on the yeah. I think it is. I think there was some good humor there, some good laughter. Yeah. People oh, it's just laughing. so sad. We no longer have the kiss cam. We have the sanitizer cam. Isn't that a strange I love time? the cum jet so much more than the kiss cam. Kiss cam always, to be honest, it is a nerve wracking experience. Yeah, well, because there's a pressure. There's pressure. A lot of pressure. You, you have to say that you got to kiss. Um, but a lot of then, times they're family members. And then yeah. they have to be like, that's my sister. And then yeah, it's that, whole And you're thing. saying like, like on the cam. Yep. I mean, then everyone's like, kiss, 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 kiss fuck, kiss, fuck, kiss. fuck. And then all of a sudden you're sitting there with your fuck, mom and you're fuck. just like, we got to do it. We're on the camp. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> Nina Hartley. And then all of a sudden her Ooh. and her fucking neighbor are teaching you how they, you didn't know you had a big dick. Until Nina Hartley taught you that she did. Isn't that nice? The power of the mind. Nina Hartley yeah, is right. a fucking, she's, she's helped a lot of, a lot of families. A Absolutely. treasure. An absolute Absolutely. treasure. I'd like to meet Nina Hartley. I bet she's a lot of fun. I bet she is. 
Damn. I mean, she's been in a lot of movies. She's got a good sense of humor about things. She's written books. She oh, just yeah. hangs out. Though. You know, she's not going to like have sex with you a bunch. She's like, no, I don't LeBron, want that. No, I don't like, want Let's that. play basketball. Like, That's scary. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I want to hang out. Okay. All right. All right. Let's watch this video called Big Dan Holland. <laughs> yeah, Big Dan. <laughs> Come on, Big Dan. Uh -oh. Look, he's looking pretty big. All right, here he goes. It's the Indian food leaving Travis's body. He is, he's picking up <laughs> speed. Oh, my oh. God. That is not. That, was, that is horrible. <laughs> And it's now, also and now, did... <laughs> let's see let's see the exact same thing from a different <laughs> angle that was uploaded by the same guy that wow. he got from a friend this is the big so Dan sad Wipeout. the big wow Dan look Wipeout. at this he really did pick up quite a bit of speed yeah you meant honestly he truly needs uh, he also fat guy oh holy so shit he's really cool. whoa <laughs> he is fucking cooking dude and he get like the the blubber hit the road oh, you can see it God. in his face like the only com the only comment on the video is the guy just one guy who wrote I am the one who pushed him down the hill. LMAO. <laughs> yeah, and it's my favorite thing is anybody, anytime you have a chance to do the thing where you got the gurney and everyone's, oh, and all worried, and then you can do the. Yeah, You know, and everyone's just like, he did it. He's he did fine. It. But that okay. soapbox, yeah, that soapbox derby, that wasn't nearly a safe enough derby um, car to be going that it really fast. Wasn't. It was a glorified the radio flyer. I don't and the only it. thing that was stopping him was a couple of hay bales. So no matter what, that, I don't he know would... how I was expected to stop. Best case scenario, he hits planning. the hay barrel. Yeah, I mean, I think there was, was a lot of planning. planning. There was a crowd. <laughs> there were hay barrels. There was a beginning. There was obviously someone who was like, "Go!" There was a lot of planning well, for something that stupid. What happens is it starts as a bit. You get your biggest friend. As a matter of fact, so big, everybody called him Big Dan. You go and you put him in a Ricky little cart, and everyone's being like, "Oh, this is gonna be hilarious because he's gonna go down here so fast." And Big yeah. Dan's like, "Guys, I'm just like so so happy I could be your best friend." Or he's just being like, "Yeah, oh, this is gonna be fun," you know. And everyone's just so excited for Big Dan, Big Day for Big Dan. You know what I mean? Whatever. And then he, they do the little tip, and then you could see it just from far away. You could see in his eyeballs <laughs> where he's just like, <laughs> "Really, this is a lot faster than I was expecting." Well, I think you know, with like. The that amount of weight going downhill at that velocity with that much blubber on top. He must've been going oh. 35 miles an hour by All the end of the event. You just put one of those ramps and then cut to him. That like, would be standing <laughs> next to the new Mars probe. You know, like <laughs> him like, big day and made it to Mars. Woo! <laughs> you wait yes. until that's uh, the Ch next. Chuba Copolis. Yeah. That man has three children. Yes. Big For Dan certain. on Mars is going to be a, that's going to be coming to Peacock. Anytime yeah. now. Big Dan I'll tell you, ass. Honestly, that's a show. What fat guy Big on Dan Mars? Dan on Mars? What do you mean that's that a show? gets there, but that gets there because he took a soapbox derby off of a ramp and he landed on Mars, and now that's a show. I'm saying how that. is it a show? In what aspect is it a show? Is he a scientist? He would die. That's your show. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's used to be sadly, honestly, it probably just got written by some computer in some basement. Our, uh, our former bosses at Adult Swim, uh, Mike Lazo, who used to, that's his whole thing, was that anybody sometimes, would say, some people come like pitch a show, and obviously in Adult Swim, everything is very complicated and crazy. But then, you know, like he'd be like, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it, they're rats, but they're fucking, they're accountants for the rat mob and blah, oh. blah, blah. And then he's just like, a rat. That's your show right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be like, what? That's a show? And he's like, that's a show. A rat. I am just so happy you're learning so much leadership technique by the executives at a future defunct television network. That's your show out there. I love it. And of course, we do love Adult Swim. It'd be nice if we still had a show on their network, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would yeah. be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. We, we, got a, we got a question from the chat here. Uh, would you guys rather smell LRH's breath or Aleister Crowley's butt? Oh, LRH's breath. breath. I, I bet you it actually breath. tasted. I bet you we actually had great breath. <laughs> I don't think he did, but I. You don't I think? Rather, I bet you that he seems cigarettes. like a he mince a, guy. I am a chain actually, smoker. He's a chain smoker. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm gonna actually weirdly say? Is I think Alistair Crowley's butthole. No, I think he would do clean. Better. Yeah, it might be mm. clean. Because you think know, like, you are because sometimes not a butthole is still yummy. You know what I mean? We don't mm. know because think about it. We have no clue. They could pull down those pants, and all of a sudden, and his butt could have been like an Alexis Texas. 
At I don't think so. A butt tastes and smells like copper at best. Yeah. And also is this po post coitus, pre coitus, right after dumping. I'm just always going to go with somebody's breath. I think over their butthole. Yeah. Let me just see Alistair really quick so I can. Look yeah, You want to relook at him so you can remember what it would be that you look at. Yeah. But anyway, in the meantime, I think we can probably, yeah, this guy's butthole, that guy. You would, you <laughs> think that, that man's, you think that that man's butthole. Yeah. Eddie is, Pepitone. <laughs> Eddie Pepito. But you know, it's weird. Sometimes when someone is so you'd expect their butthole, like, oh, this is gonna be so rancid. I actually bet you it's weirdly, it's surprisingly neutral smelling. Because right. he's got such know, a flat butt. We're talking, but we're also talking like early 20th century butthole here. This isn't gonna be this isn't shower every day butthole. There's not as much uh uh pre preservatives in the food. <laughs> interesting so it's more organic i love organic. i love this health nut henry zabrowski phase you've gone through i see this is me this i am i guess i, I am a real health uh, whoa nut. all right marcus uh, you save us with a video uh, let's you know we're driving along we've been watching some pretty cute videos so Pat here says also i'd rather uh, i'd honestly rather smell a butthole than bad breath there are other people like that okay sure yeah, there are but well, well, I was saying, we're, we're, we've been watching some pretty cute videos so far. There hasn't been a whole lot, except for, you know, the even the the pants video, the yogurt video wasn't that cute. bad. Let's just start, let's start shifting gears a little bit. Let's start ramping, let's just start ramping it up. Let's get there. And let's see where, let's see where it takes us. Let's, let's see where be it takes Big us. Dave okay, going down a hill. Big Dan. Yeah, let's, okay. big, big Dan hauling ass. All right, this I'm hauling called, ass. I'm feeling uh, it. This one's called Syrupy Self-Flagellation at the Shrine of the Banana Crucifix. Okay. It's an art piece. I see that. Okay, bananas on the crucifix. Bananas at large. Symbolism. I'm seeing some symbolism. Bananas at large. Syrup. Okay, that's syrup, and, and that is a cat and nine tails. Okay. Yeah. That's a whip. That's not a cat. All right. Okay. So this is art. Modern art is a lot of this. Oh, oh I see. There's yeah, the there nine tails. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, okay. Oh, he does a classy mm -hmm. bend over. I want to say he bend does. Bend Fastly bend over. You don't see balls. Usually, you see when a guy like crouches down like that. You see you the would, balls. You would normally, coming, yeah. You no balls. No, no. Very European. That's very professional. Yeah. If oh, they could, the balls, balls might be, you know, they they might be like raised up though. It could be a cold room. Or very, very. Yeah, tall. it looks like they must be because you would think that you could. This see guy them. could have also castrated himself. That is oh, very much so. That is possible. That's a, that, that is, is on another the possibility. Yeah. Okay. So got the syrup. Just poured some syrup. Oh, he on poured his syrup on himself. On himself. Yeah. This is like that so, poison okay, song. Okay, we need sound. We need sound. Yeah. All right. Oh, we, we need the sound. Where's the, oh, where's the, the sound, sound is going out. It's just sometimes Zoom cuts it off for us. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Zoom good, cuts good, it out good. so the audience can, because thank God they can hear the sound. <laughs> okay. So far, <laughs> um, he so is getting... far, this is actually how this is called flagellation. This is uh -huh. a Christian practice. That yeah. has happened to like more extreme religions, and they do believe this. I, it's just he's he getting a little bit close to too far of a dip with the butthole, because we're starting mm -hmm. to see a little bit of the rim. Still, yeah, you want to be yeah, careful. He's just backing it because yeah, I mean, who wants to see? Holy his dick? crap! Okay. Yeah. Well, he really yeah. whipped himself okay. fairly hard with those, all he in did. front of Banana Jesus. There, you really don't have to hit yourself that hard with the cat and nine tails to get those marks going. That's part of why it's such a wonderful torture device. So that was you not a player ever. video. That, no, was that, was, that was the whole video. That was the whole video. Yeah, yeah. That was it. The beginning, middle, and the end. We caught all of it. That, that was it? a whole story. Yeah. What now, was the story? The story is of a man who is making himself, uh, you know, closer to Christ. Banana. That's Christ. because you have to do. You have to debase Banana yourself Christ. before the great Christ. Somebody hasn't yeah, watched the Da Vinci stuff. Code. Seems like. I have not. It is. It's true. <laughs> um, I am. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God. I hate. Remember the Da Vinci Code era. Everyone was talking Da Vinci Code. Everyone's mom loved the Da Vinci yeah. Code. People love the Da Vinci Code. I remember reading it on a toilet in all one in one go. Mm. What? Mm. On one shit? You read an entire book? Maybe you like an eight-hour shit. Huh? Answer. I was hey, I was hiding. It was a, hiding from what? It was my ex. I was soon to be ex girlfriend in college. She was having a drug freak out because she got re addicted to these pills. It was a very dramatic day. Very Jesse then, Spano. Huh. She was throwing some kind of fit, and then I just sat in the bathroom, and I, I did bath. have to shit, but she had just bought the Da Vinci Code. And you just and read so it you, the whole time. As your girlfriend was obviously in, in some kind of need, I, it does sound. She was Maybe dangerous, crisis. though. She she's was being, being fucking mean, dog. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you did, she's being mean. She, she didn't you deserve stay in your bath or Stay in her bathroom for eight hours. Maybe she just had to piss. Was she knocking on the door saying, I have to piss? No, no, oh, no, my God, me. she's in a drug-fueled rage. And it's like, no, she you She knew where I was. 
Okay. All right. You want to watch the worst thing I've seen in a while? Oh my I see. God. No. This is, Again. This is one of those when he says this, and it's the smile that he says because I know that they because there was that one video that I know that is sandwiched in here. That's this might be it. Upset. Is That's this going to make people upset? Yeah, right. it's going to make people really fucking upset. Okay. It's, uh, it's always do the skin. And I found stuff. this on YouTube, and it was a. Uh, it's fucking. It's awful. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. It's just so no, oh god, oh god. You... no, 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 no. Marcus, I'm gonna fucking kill you, kill you Marcus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. oh my god, oh my god, Marcus, it's really you fuck. bastard! You are disgusting. Oh Marcus, my god, you're gonna burn in hell. Marcus, you're burning no, in hell. No. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I'm gonna kill you, Marcus. Oh my god. Jesus, what is wrong no. with you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, what's wrong with this fucking piece of shit? Jeez, Marcus, now I've just, now oh, I've seen it all. You. All right, that's enough. I, can we go back to Banana Jesus, please? What is Look, wrong with you? Oh, there it is. Oh, he, that's the second uh, one. <laughs> well, he's obviously having a crazy Saturday. I don't know what's happened. Uh, all I know is he's going to want those at some point back uh, on his body. I feel like I'm a crazy. Hey, uh, I'm so mad. Oh, you didn't, you didn't stuff on my pants, yo. Oh my God! Please, Lord, he is no, absolutely hammered. What is he hammered. doing next? <laughs> Did he cut his penis off? Oh, oh, oh. So Someone come get that. me! Okay, my mom left it. me in the freezer section. My well, mom left me in the he is gonna. Section. He is gonna have some shaved <laughs> nipples there. It's gonna hurt to wear a shirt. I. I, I, uh, I can he just wear a lot of tips. shirts. Was he, he trying to prove the, the points of it? Uh, I don't know why don't he did know. that. I really don't know what the I don't know what it was. Also, it was very telling. Was. It was very telling that the YouTube video's description and title was in German, but the guy seemed German. like he he was from like South Central LA, LA or something. He, he it wasn't like a, a yeah. It was somebody he, somebody picked that video up and was like, "Oof, this is very good." And like oof. like re, and then like re-uploaded it for their in own German. amusement. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah they sure them. they sure did. And do you notice the the uh the pictures in the background when he was doing it? Uh, I didn't he had notice one of those them, big no. picture collages that said family and it had his whole family <laughs> yeah, up there. You know, you know, I think that um that family is in the rear view mirror. <laughs> I don't and that know. He I... has been and Big Dan has been hauling ass this is why away one... from his family. Well, and where that has led to is him drunk very obviously uh blackout drunk. Yeah. Doing something well, to impress 14 year olds. On the internet. Uh, to be fair, I think you might skew higher. Uh, when you have yeah. so much disregard for your nipple, I think you have to be relatively. Yeah, Faith aged. says right here. Yeah. She's been, I guess, I don't know what goes. They, they got her uh, nipples pierced, both nipples pierced. Totally different. They were afraid of getting pulled off. Yeah, that sounds fucking, that's rough. Yeah, that's that real bad. rough. No, that was totally yeah. different than that. I had my tongue pierced. My brother had his nipples pierced. I saw him get his nipples. That was even bad. Just yeah. kind of. But not so, was, he was blackout, but not so blackout that he couldn't upload the video. To oh, some no, that, sort of service. No, that, that's still blackout. You could be amazed what you can do blackout drunk. You really, I mean, I, I guarantee you he woke up. Oh, what? what? <laughs> oh, what like, the what? fuck? And then, oh, I'm like sore. And it's not like here Bro. or here. And then his buddy was like, yo, sore, Tony, like, right do you know what here. you did last night, bro? And he's like, yeah, I got your two nipples, dude. And then it's just a hell of a day. Yeah, that's really Your nipples grow day. back. No. I don't no. fucking no. think so, dude. No, I think that the hole will close up. But on the other hand, nipples are a vesti vestigial, vestigial, uh, vestigial part of our body, vestigial part of our body anyway. So we can get rid of our nipples, and there is no change in our lives besides not you know, for us. A if healing nipples, period. if nipples grew back, I think I'd shoot myself. That's horrifying. <laughs> That's man, because if it grows back, you know that fucking idiot's gonna pull him off again. The nipple yeah. grows. And it grows back longer. <laughs> the nipple grows back longer each time. Let me just get Honestly, a drink. I just need to get a drink. Don't drink oh, it. Oh, 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 don't, don't drink it. I need to get rid of these nipples and ghosts. Oh my Because you remember, there are ghost nipples, but real ghost nipples are sexy. Honestly, though, you you mentioned well, you kind of acted like shoe nice there. The guy who used to drink a bunch of stuff. I don't mm. think he's even done something that extreme. That man went from no. zero to a million by YouTube standards. Yeah, and I don't think he's ever going to be seen or heard from again. Oh, he's dead. And that was his, and that was his second nipple. If you'll notice, oh. he put down when he put down I saw the, the nipple, nipple. The other one was sitting right next to it, so he had already done this once that That's night. Horrible, 
horrible. Yeah. Oh, damn. Really I actually gross. thought about. That. I thought about getting my, one of my nipples pierced, but I but I have so much nipple. You do, you do not it. need to get a nipple pierced. You got it. You got no, this is college. Nipple. This is in college. Yeah. Not now. Not now. Yeah, because oh, you got Coney nipples. Oh, like, I got big out. old. Yeah. I got big old Gino Gershon's under we've, here. We've remember Gino Gershon? Oh my tiny, God! How tiny, could I forget? Yeah. Gina Gashan yeah. made many man, many, man, many boy a man, and many lady, and many girl Bound. a lady. That's a good film. Mm-hmm. Bound. I remember I that film? That one. All yeah, right, so that one, that last video is a little disturbing. It's so good. Let's. I'm, let's, I'm angry. Nice for everybody to get a shot of energy. Yeah, get it's a little just shot of energy. So, all the time. we're trying to make everyone's making the internet nice all the time. Now it's nice to make it. Now we're making it not so nice. No, I don't. Yeah, I think yeah. the internet's extremely hostile. Well, let's watch a cartoon. From a, a great creator called, you know, it's the Minute Hour. He does great stuff. I love what the Minute Hour does. Yeah. But this one's good. It'll relax you. It's called You Have to Relax. Okay. It's It'll called You Have to Relax. Right. So no you one is getting their relax. nipples yeah. cut off. That is... No. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The first thing you're going to want to do is relax. Oh, they're not helping and me, though, dude. Start with two sharp shallow exhales from deep inside your person and everything's fine everything's normal this is normal focus on the moment keep the moment in the present because everything is here everything is here and now and now and okay. it feels like the inner monologue of my fucking relax, mind relax, I, i'm just calm, like and calm. nobody wants to harm You are not insane. You are not insane. You are your brain. You are your brain. You are your brain. Are you your are brain. Your... That's true. I want you to take I'm two not my more brain, sharp, I'm my foot. shallow breaths. I love the and incense. allow yourself to contemplate a moment of true infinite consciousness. See if it works here. What did you see? What did you see? What did you see? Where did it go? Where did it go? What's in your What's in your brain? And how do you know? How do you? Oh my God! I'm getting scared. You are. You are insane. You are insane. You are insane. You I know it. There is a bug in your brain. I know it. There is a bug in his brain. That's horrible. What can you do? Lock you away. Put the bug in his brain. Put the bug in his brain. I can do that. It's actually very soothing. Is this very soothing? Oh, that's what you want to do. Whoa! Yeah, fuck you! Yeah. Honestly, wow. really cool. And kind of a conversation we were talking about before the show about trans getting our brains out of this skull and putting it into a machine. Yeah. That's yes. what they're doing. You take your brain piece by piece. I was watching a lot of TED Talks. The internet, is so, the internet is so funny, though, because they'll make a two-hour video explaining the ending of Batman the Dark Knight, but yeah. this won't get explained whatsoever. No, no one will care. No, this just goes. People beg for Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League. No one wants Did to they? know. It's the here, and it's, it's worse than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie with a buddy, and we had a nice time watching Batman yeah. versus Superman, although they don't really fight that much, do they? We watched you Batman like versus shallow Superman movies. Together. Here's four hours of shallowness. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be. No, Marcus. It was shallow before. Now, now. It's every single one of these movies is paper long. fucking thin. Whoa, yeah. Mr. Martin Scorsese. Whoa. Okay, Marty. Whoa. 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 How do you take the DC Comics characters and make them joyless? How do you do that? We are taking our fan base and they're just getting jerked back and forth. They're watching, the chat is just people going like, oh, no, oh. This the, is the, well, then, we let's, and, then let's bring everything back and let's, let's everyone it watch what it's, let's everyone watch what it's like to die in an airplane fire. Oh God, can we not? <laughs> just, I really have wanted to relax all day. Let's see it.
This is a scary way to die, I'm assuming. All right. Everything's fine. This is yeah, we're going to be in Hawaii, no problem. Honestly, this is, just feels like my life. Gus Sarkos. We'll be there, Deborah. It's just two hours still land. Thank you for the, the love right for uh, the doing gas, guys. A fire is Absolutely. penetrating through an opening. It is a post-crash fuel fire. Cool. The main violation to the interior from the fire is from the intense radiant heat. And you can see oh. the materials Why don't are they just rename this <gasps> 2020? Of the seats. Some of the seats what do you mean? from the aisle are also beginning to um. decompose. <laughs> It's very interesting that the combustion products have a tendency to accumulate up at the ceiling. This they need to have passengers sitting there scared. That would make them better. And scientists, the two -zone effect, <laughs> just one old lady. Oh my God. Are mainly just one guy still waiting in line for the bathroom, not getting out. In the lower zone, the environment is pretty near being clear air. At 53 Scary. seconds, the burning materials have released intolerable levels of poisonous fumes and gas. to make the whole plane out of the Who started to more than this 2200 fire. degrees. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Joel. Yes, he took a liquid gum. God, that's scary. Would be much worse. There would be hysterical people scrambling to get out, carry on yep. luggage burning and blocking the aisles, and a great rushing and churning of air as emergency doors are opened. But with time, the fire intensifies, Honestly, this is taking but a lot remains by and large localized in the immediate area. Not if you're sitting in the back. The original insult. That's why you seconds. can't smoke cigarettes on planes anymore. There was still enough oxygen yeah, because they don't want everybody to be relaxed and fun. Dangerously superheated gases. Kind of Any miss people still inside struggling to escape fun. would just barely be. <laughs> you never were on a smoking, smoking airplane. On, one of the first ones I just remember it still smelling like smoke. Uh, I remember when I, when we used to fly to Germany, those were all smoking flights. Uncontrolled Intense. fire growth. But this really is a smoke. <laughs> Apparently, this fire didn't read the sign that's in this. As you can see, when this flashover phenomenon occurs, the entire cabin is blackened by smoke. Yep. And from our analysis of the products of combustion, uh, we calculate that the survivability... This is the scariest part of the video! Of <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking, uh, what's his name, from Shit's Creek! Wow. Eugene Levy! Eugene yeah. Levy! Well, that is extremely educational, I, That's Marcus. actually Thank very scary. for showing that. That is wow. real. So everyone scary. knows if if your plane crashes and you don't die immediately, the resulting fire will kill you in two minutes. Well, yeah, that's you could my, get you know, out though. You could always out. bail. Um, that's my main thing. Number number one advice in a plane: always bail if you can. Get a parachute. Number two, um, find the largest person, ride them. Yeah, you like, can get ride on them. top of them because honestly, Kissel, mm. not to be yeah, anything bad. You, you could Kissel can help you float. And it's not about it. Even just it's just his body mask allows him to displace a more correct amount of water. You actually would be very safe. Then if I'm the boat, then I'll be drowning. Mm hmm. Because if I'm the boat, unless I'm on my back, but then you I should bring a scuba mask on every. Yeah, I'm going to want to bring a scuba mask for sure. You bring a scuba mask and maybe some chips or something so someone can enjoy them as they're riding yeah. me. Pop chips. And then it's really. Pop like oh, a pop chips. <laughs> that was Aleister Crowley's favorite chip. Pop. Butthole. Oh, because of his fucking asshole. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the end, we're all we're the ones who don't understand. I guess we just don't understand just how powerful the anal or no, I know. Is. I'm actually upset about it. I'm actually upset yeah. about it. You can figure it out, but I won't. You know, no, I, mean? I have no need like, to. we could figure it out, but if we did, it would change so much of our day to day. It's not even a it's sort of like like when it comes to the butt stuff, it's kind of like painting your house, you know? It's not about the actual painting itself. That's not that hard. It's all the pre-pro. Mm -hmm. You got to put the tape on the walls. You got to protect everything. Put the thing, put all, the, the put all the newspaper down. Hire the, the paint. painter. Yeah. That, like painting itself isn't that bad. It's just all the things you got to do before. So I just, the shaving, the, the correct mm -hmm. uh, diet, the, uh, diet, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I had a bunch of- Marcus would have to take a few days off from bleeding out of his anus. But he yeah, doesn't bleed yeah. anymore. No, no, no. That's over. Yeah, that's over for now. Yeah, that's over. Oh, that's that's what. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, that's a big. That's I'm a big deal. Of, big... <laughs> that's a it. big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving past bleeding buttholes. <laughs> that's in my past. <laughs> it's fucking it's, great, man. It's He's it's moving on. No I one wants up. to hear about my bleeding asshole anymore. They always huh? do, as far as I know. Okay. Well, Maybe they did in the past. They but... definitely do. They, they do. like the you. They, they, yeah, yeah. They, you know what they get sad about is that your butthole not bleeding anymore just reminds them that time does pass. Yep. 
Time does and pass, so, but things get and better. We grow. I know, but we grow, but they yeah. get different. You know what I mean? Because it's different. Mm. Now we're like in this world where you're like butthole. Absolutely. Doesn't bleed. And had a super healthy bowel movement earlier today. Well, that's, that's not fun to talk about. That's yeah. not material. That's gross. I last night. It was great. Like, any I'm, gas I'm pumps work in this town? Any gas no, pumps work in this I country? I know of. Not that I know of. No. Well, let's end this show All right. on a fun video. You know what? It's a fun video by a man uh, called Tom. He wrote a song about dogs. It's oh. called I Like Dogs. Hell yeah. This kid, a, look at this. This is so nice. This is, I'm, ass, I'm assuming the nipple video was the one that was edited off of YouTube. At one point. Yeah, 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 yeah. They so. wanted that gone. Oh, yeah. That was gone immediately. It shouldn't have been on yeah. YouTube. And it's not going to make it to YouTube now. But, you, but you've inspired <laughs> me for my next mandate, Mark. No! Good. No, not good. I like dogs. Oh, I, I like them dogs. so much. Cool. Hell yeah. So great. <laughs> I'm gonna get a big dog next. A dog is a man's best friend. Although I don't want to pick up their poops. Yeah, when I take Eddie's dog for a walk and the shits are like human size, it's a lot. It's a lot. If you hate a dog, that will make me sad. This guy recorded this in September. Oh wow! If you hate a dog, that will make me sad. I don't see why it <laughs> make you mad. A lot of I questions. Love dogs, things are so great. They really yeah. boost my heart rate. I think they're so great. I think they're so great. Woof, woof, dogs will make my heart woof, woof, rate go up. Though. That means sexually excited. No, you can. No, if you see a cute dog. Stop slandering this man. <laughs> I bet you if you see a cute dog, your heart rate goes up. How everything's about ho, sex. Ho. Henry. Doug is a man's best friend. Really People are saying they all love it, and everyone's saying they're so excited about their dog. Everyone's like, you're starting to come line with their dog. <laughs> to make me Tom happy. MT. This song Don't only has 180 dog, views. Go push his view count up. This guy's great. A lot of People MT. are saying that. I like dogs. People like are pretty certain that this is I you singing. I think they're great. They yeah, yeah interesting, Marcus. Uh, I'm Alyssa Mercado, you're cats are out of here. This is not a cat five. No, cats are five. Not now. Yeah, let's talk that time. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah. You only give that dog some water. He did restart his dog videos. I did point. notice that. There's so many dogs, you could probably get more video. <laughs> You know what? I love dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. I think he didn't write this musical part of it. I think he might have found this and then he's singing on top of it. It fucking sucks that this guy sounds like me. (laughs) Sounds like Cream Daddy a little bit. Ooh, all right. He's got a little bit of a Cream Daddy vibe. Well, fantastic, Marcus. Great videos this week. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we only everybody just got generally conned to like fucking traumatized that one time. Oh Hi. my God! Well, if if You're you okay. grab your nipples tonight and just tell them you love them, you like and, thank uh, nipples. I'm not going to thank you for being nipples. on my body. I'm your thank ear, you, nipples. Thank your hand for never slicing off your nipples, or thank you for never getting. Just thank your brain for never getting so blackout drunk you cut off your own nipples. Thank, thank yourself you for tonight. not doing it, hand. Thank you for just touching my penis. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hail yourselves. That's we'll be back next Tuesday. Thanks next for giving to our is. Patreon. Oh, yeah, just so you know, Dunecast is coming out every Monday, or LPN Deep Dives Dune is coming out every Monday, and then Spun will also be coming out someplace underneath. We'll be coming out a Wednesday tomorrow. So. Spun and the LPN Deep Dive on Dune. Check it out. Bye. Bye, everyone.